chanting around the lawn, the office went to hell. I missed 10 phone calls, including Donatella and Maha, Jackson Denver contracts that never made it to my desk. And do we need to mention the flower arrangements? They're hideous. Um, I will explain the lost calls to the parties involved, track down the contracts, and change the floral service. Nope, too late on all accounts. I need you to spend the rest of the day implementing my changes into the July issue. Changes? What exactly about that word don't you understand? Um, it's just that the July issue is supposed to go to bed tonight. Oh, well, then I guess you better hop too. Don't, uh, don't give me that put upon look. It was your choice to take off on a last minute trip for reasons I have yet to hear. Kate, not to deflect your anger in any way, is it possible you're upset about something else? I'm sorry? Well, I've just been working for you a long time, and I can tell when you're trying not to hurt. What's hurting me is the rampant incompetency around here, which I can fix by shaking up the staff, starting with you and your coworker. What's her name? I can't seem to remember since I so rarely see her. Why don't you put her on the top of your call sheet and tell her if she's not here in 30 minutes, you're both fired. Kate is on a warpath. You need to organize her schedule while I make the changes to the July issue. Yeah, work and wait. You and I have a problem. Speak for yourself. You told Jason where to find Michael after you promised that you wouldn't. I didn't promise. I am your best friend. I begged you to keep quiet, and you knew how important it was to me to keep Dante's trust. You still ran to Jason. Oh, my God. What? It was that good? What are you talking about? Y y you. You're like radiating light like some sex warrior from Planet Passion. Okay, you can be mad at me later. This is way more important. What was Dante like in bed? Oh, man. Okay, it was... It was amazing. It was better than anything else ever. So it was worth the Yes, wait. it was worth it. I'm a geek right now. Well, love does that to you. I'm happy for you. I'm assuming you didn't feel that way when you almost ruined things for me. What if Dante hadn't forgiven me for your betrayal? Okay, I have loyalties here too, and mine go to Spinelli and Jason. Sometimes that's gonna create conflict between the two of us, and I'm sorry if I caused you any grief by giving Michael up, but I'm not sorry that I did it. If you were so sold on your own righteousness, why did you take off to Europe? To avoid conversations like this. I have a problem ending friendships over a clash of principles. Okay, whatever. Look, you should be grateful that I have such an enlightened point of view. You can't afford to be losing friends right now. You didn't exactly make a popular choice. I mean, backing Dante against Sunny's world. You two should be enjoying your honeymoon while it lasts. 